in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to make arrow shape timeline slide in powerpoint as you can see here i've added five uh, arrows of different colors and at the bottom i have added the shadow effect and here you can add your title and you can change the detailed text here and if you have the icons you can add these icons also so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide and change the background to gradient fill right mouse click go to format background and select the gradient fill here you can see here i have uh, added three stop the one is the white the second one i have used a light gray color and the third one is somewhat dark gray color and the type i have selected radial and direction you say from center then go to insert shapes from the rectangle select the second rectangle which is the rounded corner draw it and make it fully curved something like this you can see here shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to duplicate this press ctrl d to duplicate this and give some different color and i'm just going to place it here something like this you can see here maybe this much size and i can increase this one like this so the one which is visible the blue one i'm going to keep it and the rest i'm going to delete that for that let me just select the blue rectangle first hold the shift key select the second rectangle from the format merge shape you can see here just make it subtract and then go to insert shapes select the rectangle i'm going to cut this part also here you can see here so i'm going to select this hold the shift key select this rectangle merge shape and say subtract so you end up getting this shape now i'm going to make the arrowhead for that go to insert shapes again from the rectangle select the second one select uh, the rounded rectangle make it again fully rounded you can see here and reduce the size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give some different color you bring it here and then hold the alt key and use the left arrow key you can see here something like this you just put it here one maybe we can reduce the size we don't need that much big and then i'm going to duplicate this press ctrl d to duplicate maybe you can give some different color and then again using the alt and the right arrow key i'm just going to rotate this and i'm going to put it here on top of this one let me just zoom in you can see here i'm just going to put exactly on top of the yellow uh, rectangle then bring this to match exactly in the center it should be exactly in the center you can see something like this then select all these three shapes by holding the shift key and then press ctrl g to group it and i'm going to give one color for example let me just give this color so you can see here we end up getting uh, arrow something like this now it's easy for me i can hold the shift key reduce the size uh, depending on my requirement and then uh, let me just go to format you can just see rotate and i'm going to pl uh, flip vertical you can see here this is my first arrow press ctrl d to duplicate go and change the color to some other color of your choice and then i'm just going to rotate again flip vertical something like this you can see here and i can just send this to back then i'm going to select this press ctrl d i'm going to give some different color here and i'm going to place it something like this and again this is also will go back and then depending on your requirement how many you wants to add i want to add one here something like this and i'm going to change the color to maybe uh, just say uh, uh, this color or gray color or whatever color you need and then just send this to back and then i'm going to add one more which i'm going to select this press ctrl d and again send this to back and change the color of your choice whichever color you feel better something like this you can see here so this is how you have to do the arrangement if you want you can add more arrows as well or if you want you can do it from ascending to descending or from the inclined way now let's add the ear on the arrows go to insert text box i'm going to start maybe with 1995 center align make it white 
it is not visible bring it here make it bold i'm going to make it century gothic font or any font of your choice if you want you can give some shadow effect something like this also so you can see here so this is for the first arrow press ctrl d bring it here one by one you can just press ctrl d you can see here and then just change the year according to the requirement let me just change this to for example 2000 this will be sorry this will be 2000 here this will be maybe 2005 2015 and 2020 this looks very plain so i'm going to add one shadow at the bottom go to insert shapes select a oval shape draw the oval shape maybe this much size you can see here and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill make it black increase the transparency level and then you can go to the effects soft adjust increase the size so you can see here maybe this much size so you got the shadow effect here it's time to add the detailed text for that go to insert shapes and i'm going to select the line draw the line by holding the shift key so that you get a perfect straight line and then you can go to the lines and you can see here the end arrow type i'm going to select this one and the size i'm going to select the bigger size shape outline make it some dark gray color and you can increase the transparency for something like this and then you can just add your detailed text here you can add your detailed text along with the title so let me just reduce the size you can see here you can do something like this and if you have using the latest version then you can insert the icons also so let me just duplicate this press ctrl d to duplicate this one will come here ctrl d this one will come here ctrl d this will come here and ctrl d and this will come here that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.